Hello student, hello classmates, I'm here today with Probability on Study Island and um, I'm going to show you how to, or I'm going to explain that. Okay, first question. A six-sided die is rolled. What is the probability of the number three comes up? Okay, so you have six sides and, well, there has to be one through six, and three is only one number, so one over six. And I'll find that, yep, one over six, that's the answer. Okay. In experience, a six-sided die is rolled 24 times. The results are shown below. Here are the results. And which number's experimental probability matches this theoretical probability? Okay. So, first you have three and six. Number of dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. It's rolled 24 times. And since there's six, it should land four times on that number. One and five have four lands. So that would be the answer, one and five. Okay. A class of 28 students is having a drawing each student name is placed on a piece of paper and then placed in a hat. One name is randomly oh, excuse me, randomly drawn from the hat. If there are 16 boys in the class, what is the probability that the name drawn is a girl? Okay. So first you want to see 16 over 28. That's the number of boys. And what I would do is I would add that. I would add the number that you need of girls. So then you have 4 equals 20, that's 4 girls, and then plus 8 equals 12. So there's 12 girls out of the 28 in the class. Now what you're going to do is you're going to divide that by 2. 28 divided by 2 equals 14, 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Now we're still not there, because they can both still be divided by 2. 14 divided by 2 equals 7, and 6 divided by 2 equals 3. And that's the most simplifying you can get, and that's one of the answers. And it is the answer. Okay, since it seems like this is going to be the only type of question... Um, this will be the last one, and then I'll wrap it up. In a box of candy, there are six times as many candies with nuts as candies without nuts. Johnny pulls a candy out of the box at random. What is the probability that Johnny pulled out candy without nuts? Okay, so there's six times as many nuts without Six times as many candies with nuts as candies without. Okay. So, basically, it's one-sixth because six is as many times. And if you think about it, if there's six times many, what if candies without nuts, there's only one? So, one-sixth. Okay, so, um, thank you. I hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe and, uh, leave, um, leave questions or leave comments or even ideas for the next show. Have a nice weekend.
or year.